And you can see across the way there. I already missed the fiddleheads. Ferns are already all up and open. And boy, did they come up fast with this last rain. Because there was nothing, and now there they all are. Wow, are the mosquitoes out. Look how pretty it is down here. So pretty, all the wildflowers. The wild violets are a good wild edible. You can pick the leaves, the flowers. They're quite tasty right in your salad. You can see the animals have been chewing on these mushrooms here. They got them tore off here. They've been chewing away. Those are the same ones I picked. For anybody who remembers, what are those? Just a little quiz. Put it in the comments section below if you remember what those are. All the ferns are up. Dang, I really was hoping I could get some fiddleheads. That whole hill, that whole hill on the other side over there is full of trillium. Isn't, this, isn't that beautiful? You see them all over in here. Very small. Definitely not ready. They go all over, all back in there. So we'll have to come back. I have to say that these, right here, these look like squash or cucumber plants. Like somebody was sitting here eating cucumbers or watermelon or cantaloupe or something and threw the seeds down and they're growing. That's really something. Check it out. It's exactly what those look like. Huh. Well, I moved up from the river up to the high trail now in the woods here and uh, I'm gonna hike back a ways and look along up here and see if I can find anything check that out sure is pretty anyway Took my sweatshirt and stuff off. It's getting hot. It's been raining on on and off, and I got my poncho in. I didn't bring a pack because you guys know I'm still recovering from a fairly serious back injury. So I just got a dump pouch with a few things in it, and uh, when I get up here, ways and I take a break, I'll. Just do a bit of a pocket dump and I'll show you what I brought along today. 
Then I was really hoping I'd get into some good stuff today because it warmed up and we had a bunch of rain and it warmed up and uh, just not much out yet. I think we're going to need a couple more days of uh, warm weather. But after all the rain we had, let me switch this around and show you how dry this rail trail is. This gets really steep downhill now, but look at how dry this is. We had three days in a row of rain. And then yesterday, it was super cold and windy, and it just dried it all up. I mean, this is bone dry. It's crazy. Go down the hill here. Ugh. Yeah, the ramps are... I've seen a lot of people say the ramps are done. I mean, they are just, just coming up. All the trout lilies and ramps, they are just coming up. They're just little bitty. It's another patch up here. Look how little they are. They're all over the place. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm all over. They're all over the place, but look how little they are. Little bitty ones. They're going to need a bit of time yet, that's for sure. They go all the way down along here and all the way up the hill. But they are really small. I think we're going to... They should grow pretty quick because we're going to get a spurt of weather here where it's going to be almost 70 all week. But very little rain. So, I don't know. This spring has been terrible. Let's go down here, down this way. I was hoping if I got down along the water here, we'd have a lot more success where it'd be wetter. But even down here, there's more more moisture. But there isn't any more growth. Look how little everything is even down here, right along the water's edge. Over on that side, everything is abundantly full the canopy is full there's just nothing on this side it's so weird look how pretty it is though I just love it back here look at the size of these raccoon tracks That's one big coon. I mean, look at the difference over there. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to cross over this and go around that way. I'll bring you back. I've been walking all the way up this hillside here trying to find fiddleheads because if they're up over there completely they should be little over here on this side just coming up it's just crazy there's nothing nothing I mean they should be right in prime picking stage on this side of the hill I'm halfway up the hill, and as you can see, just look everywhere. Look all over. Nothing. I don't know if somebody's come in here and picked everything. Oh, I get 
get underneath here. Keep going up the hill. I'm just scanning before I walk. But I mean, even look up in here. There is not a fiddlehead to be seen anywhere. All right, let's head back up the trail over here. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, I guess my luck has runneth out for today. So, I guess I'm going to head back up the trail. Oh, here's another big tree that fell. Wow, this wasn't here last time I was here. Wow. This starts out by the bay, the trail, and hikes, or the trail goes all the way through the woods, follows the Red River all the way, goes up here and underneath the highway. That's why you can hear the traffic now. I don't go under the highway. I always stop here and then I turn around and go back. Uh, such a beautiful place. Although I don't like listening to the sound of the highway, but... It didn't used to be that way. It used to be just a county road when I was a kid. But I still like to come here. I thought I'd take you guys back here and show you the spring. <laughs>